breaking breaking this mother does what and right before mother's day now let's get to it So it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by myself, and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like they don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents. No, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay. My oldest son is 11, and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass still ain't come up yet? Okay, well. Y'all take the kids, and I'm going to worry about me, focus on school, and get my shit together. Hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Mix. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, per usual. For those who are new to my channel, I pre-record most of my videos. You can head on over to the video section and check out some of my live content because I typically go live on the weekends. Thank you all for your continued support. It's free to like. It's free to share. It's free to subscribe. If you're interested in donating, hit that cash app. You see it right here, right here, right here. Yes. All donations go toward content enhancement creation. Further donation information is in the description section of this post. I thank you all in advance for your continued support. If you're interested in participating in polls, head on over to the community section and vote, 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 vote. Now, let's meet you up right into the time. Topic. Okay, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in. Today is Saturday. I hope your Saturday has gone well. The day is winding down. <laughs> so um, I hope the weekend has been good to you all thus far. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers out there. It's our weekend. Uh, enjoy your day tonight tomorrow you know all of that so but let me just hop right into the topic as you can see what this video is going to be about it speaks to mother's day it speaks to mothers as well so a young single mother as you can see takes her kids to cps due to being overwhelmed you guys yes um and to my understanding juggling multiple things i think work in school simultaneously don't quote me on that um it is also to my understanding this young single mother has allegedly cried out for help on numerous occasions and nothing has happened to relieve her of what appears to be in my opinion a chaotic circumstance um, where I just totally, totally feel bad, feel horrible for the kids because the kids did not ask to be here. They did not. But, but at the same time, everyone, I have a sense of a level of, I guess you could say, call it empathy and sympathy for the single mother. I do. I really do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this video with you guys. Not going to say much. I'm probably not going to interject. I think that this video is, um, I think it's legit. I'm going to say 99.9999% because I do know people be out here doing skits, etc, etc. But if it's not legit for her, don't. we're not going to act like that this has never happened before. And before you go passing judgment, um, if you don't have more than one kid, I think... In my opinion, I say this respectfully, you, if it's nothing positive or good to say, you could you should reserve your comments, in my opinion. Although, we all have freedom of speech. You're more than welcome to drop some ch comments in the chat. But, I, wow, this, it was kind of triggering for me. And I'm going to do another video with my thoughts on it in terms of uh, reaction-wise. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and share this with you all. But just to speak to it, I can definitely, definitely um, feel her pain. You know, when it comes to one person doing everything and that could be even in a marriage. So before people come for her, it happens this way when people are married as well. When one person, when a responsibility it, it, and one person is over functioning in every area and their helpmate, their partner or the kid's fathers are non is, is a non-participant and just worried about themselves and just actually, you know, just just in my opinion, a-holes. You know, so let me share this with you guys and back with my opinion briefly, but I'm not going to do a full, full, um, just overview of this, but here you go. Well, okay. So it's two things. So I'm trying to get them to the dad because I'm not going to lie y'all. I'm over it. I do everything by myself and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing like they don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents, no, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11 and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids and I'm going to worry about me, focus on school and get my shit together because it's time for somebody else to, you know, step up. 
to do something. I'm tired. Like every time, like time. I'm. I've been doing it by myself since I was 15. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm in two different colleges. I'm working. Um, I'm over. I'm overwhelmed. I just. It's. I'm done. I really. I'm just done. I just want to learn. I just want to be able to focus on me, my school, my careers, my jobs. I, I just want to focus on me. Don't worry, I absolutely love and adore my kids. They're so beautiful and intelligent. But I don't want them. I'm try. I've been trying literally for two, two, three months to give them to the dads. Literally nothing. Then you got one of the dads is like, oh, what the? Yo, I kid you, fuck not. I told this man, you, it's time for you to step up and do something like you know. So then he's like, oh, it sounds like um, I like I literally told him. I said I'm just trying to better myself. I said my career is low key on the is low key on the rise and shit. So look. And say my kids, so you can go and chase your dreams because your dreams are starting to come true. Why would I want to sit there and let your dreams come true? Like for one, that's the most hating ass shit of, of somebody could ever say. Literally, anybody know who Kendrell Eaton is, or he go by Kike? That's who I'm talking about. Y'all, this one, this one dumb bitch Akira on this life because be dad. If I knew that's her baby dad was, bitch, I would have. Hello, I would not have been talking to him because, bitch, you're you're mad that he's my baby dad. Okay, you can have him back. I never want to be my baby dad. I just stuck and I couldn't abort. So to co help contact these goddamn dads so they can come and get kids because, like I said, I'm done. So you know, but if by five o'clock I cannot get the dads to man and help, I'm not gonna lie. I'm going to drop them off at the fire station. I've already contacted the fire station because I didn't know how the whole shit worked or whatever. Because I know I know you could drop off like newborn babies and shit and not get in trouble, or I don't know if you get in trouble or not, I don't even give a if I do get in trouble, I don't care, I'm done. So anyway, I acted it because I'm, I'm tired of doing it myself, like literally, I got all the kids, 20, literally 27, I got 24 seven, I don't have nobody to be watching them, JFS keep my child care, the dads help, the, the, the grandmas is dead beat, I can't wait to see this one bitch, I can't tell be a dad or or i don't know if y'all want to take them because look y'all can get benefits and everything um honestly actually better yet shit my daughters might qualify for ssi but i'm not playing i'm just like i have to know you i'm saying if you feel like you want to take and foster my kids or some shit like that this is me openly asking for help i need help i got a lot of shit going on right now so <clears throat> with that being said uh if you want to openly foster my child my children or whatever i have to know you yeah, yes we have to go through the whole little process or whatever but I still want to see my kids. I still want to provide for my kids and everything. But yeah, no, if you want, like I said, if you want to foster them, you're more than welcome. Y'all will get benefits. If you need, if you can file for food stamps, my daughter's qualified for SSI. Um, it's a couple of different things. My son's dad is dead as and he ain't coming back. In fact, I, st I still got to go today and spit on that nigga's grave and send the video to his mama. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, I got to, um, I got to do that shit. But my son's dad is dead. He's not coming back. So my son's dad, I mean, my son survived, uh, he, he, you know, he qualifies for, uh, survivor's benefits or whatever. Poor child. Anything that I do with my life, my career, my business, whatever rapper that you see me with, whatever rapper flies in, has nothing to do with you. My boyfriend has nothing to do with you. It don't matter. None of that shit matters. You should worry about you and what you have to do for your kids. And actually, to be honest, you're literally, you're literally that stuck with rapper we're just he's not even my boyfriend so imagine when he is when he do become my boyfriend you're gonna be sick he's not my boyfriend so now you just look dumb worried about the long ass shit i'm not it really don't matter but um because this is how you're overwhelmed because i love them and this is hard like this is this is killing me yeah but it's for the better like it's yeah. it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling my career my health number one my health so i don't die because i can't do shit for them if i'm dead yeah. i can't stop stressing if i don't have help you know mm. so and it's like bad. and it's like the dads didn't want to help me they wanted to see me beat i done lost everything so many times but you know what like i said i'm gonna come back for them and as far as the whole i suppose as far as the whole um foster whole thing like Will it be open? Will I still be able to like see them, well, bring them gifts yeah. and stuff? Like what they'll do is they'll set up visitation for you. Usually here at the agency or a designation place, whatever the court orders, and you'll be able to see them weekly. Okay, so. that's even better uh, that I can still see them. Oh yeah, you'll get to see them, and I can still provide for them, right? Correct. You Birthdays, can bring them gifts, and have all that. 
Because we're going to encourage that because our goal is reunification to give you the help that you need so you're not overwhelmed and that you can, you know, provide for your kids. I can tell that you care for them. You're just completely overwhelmed. I get that. Yeah, it's like, it's only so much I can do. I mean, I just finished my last medical class today, so it's like I just have to study for my what school did you go to? I'm in two different colleges right now. Okay. Um, one is through OSU for my national my national medical assistant license. And then the other one, um, I should be finished next year with my bachelor's, and that's Full Sail University for my bachelor's degree in audio production and music, music recording with a concentration in communication. Okay. And what college is that? Full Sail. Full Sail. Okay, but if you want to chill back here, I just gotta go interview the kids that talk to me. I know the little ones won't be able to. But. And if you ask Alex, it'll be everything from dinosaurs to siren head. <laughs> but you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. They're they're intelligent. Yeah, they seem like good kids. They are into um. Because they, they do, they like, because um, you know I told you we watch documentaries and stuff, so they are into a lot of Greek mythology um, and like Indian myths and folklore, so. I'm a like Greek mythology, I'm pretty good at it. So. Yes, um, so some, I mean, if you have to, try to open the light or something, you know, um, maybe talk about skin, you know, something. Yeah. And I can say goodbye to them before I leave. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the supervisor and see if they'll let you. I can't make that decision, but hopefully they'll let you, I'm not sure, but that'll be up to and it is fine. Um, and sometimes saying I, I, is harder for the kids. And I made sure I told them that earlier. I, told, I made yeah. sure I told them that there's nothing wrong, and they didn't do anything wrong. And I don't want them to think that they're not enough because they're everything I ever wanted. They're everything I ever wanted. Um, and you got to hug them and stuff already. Yeah. Yeah, and as I told them it's I'm coming back for them. I don't yeah. care, y'all. I'm telling yeah. you respectfully from my mouth. Whatever hoops you guys throw at me, whatever, what, no matter how you guys try to spin it, I'm coming back for my kids and I am going to get my kids. Yeah. But in the meantime, I can't do anything for them if I can't help myself. Okay, you guys. Wow, that was a lot. A lot to process, a lot to digest. My heart goes out to the kids, first and foremost, and to this young lady. Like I said before, you don't have to be single to experience like the walls closing in. And also, too, let me just run it back a little bit. Everyone is definitely entitled to their opinion commentary all of that we can agree to disagree in the chat let's keep it respectful and peaceful um even if you don't have kids even if you only have one child yes your um opinion you know it's it's, it's okay to voice your opinion however I, I just think in my opinion that when it comes to having multiple kids those who have multiple kids could truly truly relate to this especially if you're over functioning and you're pretty much the primary everything the primary thought, the primary doctor, the primary CFO, CEO of the household. And you have to do the administrative work, the medical work, the physical work, the financial work, the emotional, mental, spiritual work. And then the other parent is absent. Absent in, in spirit and in truth. <laughs> you know, Whew, I'm going to go ahead and do another video on this. I'll probably try to do a call-in show, hopefully Sunday. That call-in show, rocking and rolling on Sunday, that's what I want to do instead of my old sip and recap, sip and react. I want to do a call-in show about this um, and let the floor be open. I know some people in the manosphere or man is like probably thinking that this is funny. Uh, it sounds like one of her kids' fathers is deceased. So, I mean, I don't know where his family is at, but... This can be quite overwhelming for one person, especially it sounds like she's been working and doing everything. I don't know the dynamics of her life or family, but like she said, since 15. So, I, I mean, she could have chose to do something else with the kids and she didn't. So just pause right there for a second. Don't before you go judging her. Um, this could be anybody. This could be anybody in, in some way, shape or form. So um, like, share, subscribe, you guys. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.